Hello and welcome. I'm Zyndir and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. Now, I've got this guy set up. He's just got a hopper on him filled with iron and he's making iron dust so I can make manganese. Uh, well, make steel from the manganese. We've got a decent amount of resources here. Although, one of the first things I want to do is... This power system is a bit... Eh. And, well... A good thing about all power systems is having some way to store things. So we're going to make some of these energy tablets. We're going to throw them in here. We're going to get ourselves a basic energy cube from Mechanism. Now, this can actually be placed inside the digital miner, which is in here at the moment. Because I've still got plenty of stuff processing in here. Uh, I went and got the silver and lead manually. Because it was just kind of an issue. Well, I didn't want to hook up the entire digital miner to handle it. And so that was the result. Where is the flat panel? Where are you on the upside? Okay, now it's facing down. And it should... Yeah, it was gaining power. However, now it's losing power. Uh, partly because none of these are running now. This is a slight problem. But we can work around it. So, one of the first things we're going to need is five pieces of gold. I'm also going to want to make five redstone blocks. I made a portable tank from thermal expansion and got some lava because I'm eventually going to need it. Uh, I made a slight mistake. I'm going to need another one of these. Now... This is for a machine that I haven't quite created yet. You'll see why. And, uh, once again, not fully prepared. Going to need two more gold. Four iron. So one piece of gold we're going to turn into a con reception coil from Thermal Expansion. We need a machine from Thermal Expansion to do what we're about to do here. Or we also need a few other things, including a couple ferni furnaces, or however you want to look at them. Oops. Uh, no, missing, missing core feature. I think that's all I'm going to need. Why are you still in there, redstone? So, now if I put that there, that there, and surround that, and do that, we get ourselves a lava generator. However, we're not stopping here. If you take that, do one of those, and put this here, you can upgrade it into a heated redstone generator. Now, you can power the heated redstone generator in one of two ways. The first way is you can put lava in it and then put a piece of redstone there. However, that is not what I want to do. What I'm... There's zombies that knock on doors. I've set up another portal over here, just a cheap one, ten, and fire charges I got from a chest... I'm going to use one of those to light this portal. And we're going to skip on through because we need nether brick. Now, we don't actually need to go very far in order to acquire the nether brick. Because, well, as of. I'm not sure if it was 1 5, but I know for a fact in 1 6 you can make nether brick from nether rack using a furnace. And that generation took a while. Oh, it's still trying to generate. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes. Now, I know there's at least one ore that I haven't properly updated for my pack. Oh, there's another one as well. I thought I did nether ores. Oh, well. So, I'm just going to quickly grab some of this for the moment. What do you? My daisium. That can be used to make gold out of pretty much anything. Uh, we don't need... A... Oh. Uh, oh. Huh. I can't say I've ever spawned that close to another portal before. Or not another portal, but a... Uh... Oh, good, and it's a lovely place spawner as well. You know what? I'm just going to take my netherrack, and I'm going to go home. And I'm going to come back whenever I'm more prepared to deal with a situation like that. It's not so much that I'm afraid of the blazes, it's more of, I just needed nether bricks at the moment. 
I'm trying to upgrade my power system. Now, there is an ore type that you can make blaze rods from, but I guess I'm not going to need it now. What I am going to do is I'm going to cook up eight of this. Excuse me, iron dust, you're in the way. Now, this might take a little bit. How are we doing over here? I have a really, really cheap solution to the Chocolate Quest Dungeon that I'm going to deal with next time. I'm going to take these down, though. I'm done with their crafting. I'm basically using them like I did project tables in my 147 series to get things ready beforehand. Now, these should be getting output into here. I just have... a uh, conduits set up to move items into this, so I basically have two chests worth. And once this gets there, I suppose I can go here and get these things in place. I'm also going to need two copper, and I need to wait for the next two blocks or bricks to show up. Okay, good. I'll put those in there, and it continue on what it was doing. So, if we do this, the magma crucible, and you're not doing anything important, so we'll move you. What we're going to do is we're going to change all the outputs to off, except we're going to output up. Now, this has a max speed of 320 RF a tick, which is good, because that's what we're going to be outputting. These machines are unnecessary, and thankfully this thing has power, and it should have plenty enough to serve our purposes. Taking all of these down. And here's what happens, okay? You can power this off of lava and a piece of redstone, or if you take a piece of redstone and melt it down directly, you'll get 100 millibuckets of destabilized redstone. 100 millibuckets of destabilized redstone will provide power for 4 minutes and 20 seconds at 320 RF a tick. So, yeah... That's going to fill up our machines. Oh, right, it's filling up this first. Now, one piece of destabilized redstone should be able to generate, I believe, around 1.6 million RF. So, it, it's a supply of power. And at 320, we can support these. Now, I put 8 and or, well, technically 8 in. They start at 1, and they go up to 9, and that's the highest they go. And that brings all these machines down to 2 RF a tick. So that, that, and that, and that, all put together are only using 8. And then this guy should be, I believe, using 20. As you can see, his power is very quickly going up now, because this is full. And so that basically gives me easy on-demand power generation. Now, I am going to need to mine for more redstone... But with the digital miner, that's not really an issue. And while this is a good, you know, way to hold power, it's not exactly what I want to use at the moment. Like, yeah, I'm going to use it, but I plan to rely on a different form of power later. But what I'm going to do here, I suppose that went far quicker than I expected. Uh, I don't want to move on to what I have planned for next episode... But, um, oh, and I never did show you what was saved from getting that enrichment center. It's not terribly expensive, but, you know, something for nothing is always good. Now, what I do want to make is this guy right here, Precision Sawmill. Now, I believe I have enough left over. Wow, exactly enough. Uh, I... I'm retarded and didn't look to see... If I need redstone. No, iron and a steel casing. Very good, very good. So, make me a steel casing real quick. I probably could have prepared this beforehand, but then what would I fill this with, content-wise? And we'll put him there. We don't want you outputting anywhere. Uh, both of this and thermal expansion, if you hold down shift and click on their outputs it will clear the output. Uh, gray in this one is cleared. So, oh, and over here, I just have it set to an input of up. Input is dark red. You can tell by the borders. Uh, this is for 
power input of power items such as the energy tablets or believe it or not even these energy cubes can be used to put in there uh, and so uh, we had enough power generation I don't feel the need to upgrade this guy at all but what we can do it's already in my inventory if I take the willow wood now I'm gonna get six planks per so I have no idea how I'm trying to come up with my terrible math. If you put these in here, and that's a bit loud. Oh, my FPS is a bit dead. What's going on here? Interesting. Huh. FPS, where did you go? Oh, good God, it's dropping. Why are you dropping? Amber usage is fine. Everything else appears to be fine. What is going on? But as you can see, we're getting sawdust. Let's just stop that and see what happens. I'm not sure what's going on with my FPS right now. Is it because that's full? Is there an issue? Okay, uh, I'm not sure why that is. Huh. Strange. Very strange. I suppose, I'll put ten more in there. Wow, that is loud. Let's just turn this down some more, shall we? I don't know if it's loud to you, but it's loud to me. Why did I get mushrooms? Whatever. Now, if we take sawdust... We can make a cardboard box. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some more blocks. I'm going to take the ecologite. Ecolite? E Ecologite. Okay. And I'm probably going to want to get the cardboard box on here. I originally wasn't planning to do this, but given the proximity to the fortress, I consider this a good time. Hopefully I don't get brutally assaulted by blazes in the process of trying to do this. It's always a possibility. Ow. It burns. Hey, don't, don't fight with me. Okay. Now, if I pick this up, you can see, Tile Mob Spawner. We have captured ourselves a Mob Spawner. Kinda, well, I have some nether wart from the one chest, but let's have a look around and see if we can't find some more. Maybe find some uh, volcanus. We might not be at the right height. Uh, right here is something, another one that I haven't done, the nether essence ore, which is from the magical crops mod. Oh. Ow! Fire. Are you useful for anything? No. Ow. Really? Another spawner? Already? Okay. Uh, ow, ow. Do I hear another silverfish? I think I did. Yes, there are another silverfish, and they are horrible, horrible creatures that are not that terribly threatening. However, I only have one cordboard box. I'm going to want another cord cardboard box if I wish to capture that blaze spawner as well. Now, I don't have this chunk loaded, and I think I might go with the more problematic way of chunk loading, which is using the Railcraft World Anchor, because it's the one thing I've never heard bugs about the world loading with, and because why not go with something that's just a little bit harder? 
I'm going to store this guy in here, and we're going to go capture that other blaze spawner real quick. I'm going to use these as an essence farm. Mob essence for Mine Factory Reloaded. And, well, at first, I'm probably just going to go in there and manually kill them to get blaze rods. Because, well, blaze rods can, are needed to make ender chests and all of that stuff. So, I see no reason not to capture these. Oh, look, another silverfish. Ow. You set me on fire. Oh, but I'll turn around there. Mine. Cool. Now I have two blaze spawners. Now, there are people that consider this a bit cheaty, but as I said, there's also the force wrench that lets you do it, and that's a bit eh, as it is. So, and then of course there's the portal gun, there's the port of spawner, uh, I don't know if you can do it with the gravity gun or not. I don't think the gravity gun works on spawners. I think it might if you have the, uh, supercharged version, but I don't have that. Still, I find it a bit weird that that was causing such... Was that because of the cable? Uh, like all mechanism machines, you can break this and it'll maintain its power. So what I'm going to do is... How's that? It's not hurting my FPS at all. Okay. Seems like that is the solution to have. Now this is done, but I mean we've got over 800,000 RF. Oh, oh, it is dead. So, the problem is caused by the heated redstone generator and not the energy cube. That's a problem. Why does this? Why does this happen? Th there's no reason for this. Oh well. 800,000 should get us pretty far. And... Oh, we can make another cardboard box. This can also be used to make paper. Which has its uses as well. Although... There... Is there anywhere that I passed by that had a spawner? I'm curious as to see if I can find perhaps a witchery spawner. Well, witchery dungeon? I don't know how you want to refer to it. Uh, I'm not seeing anything offhand. Huh. Oh well, I'll have to get the power of flight at some point, but I'm going to put this cardboard box in here, along with this pipe, and I suppose I didn't need to make the nether bricks, because now I have nether brick, but eh, better to have it and not need it, and need it and not have it. That said, I made quite a bit of obsidian ingots and this is going to be our crutch for the moment on surviving things now I'm pretty sure my updated textures for this I put them in my texture pack so oh another fun thing while I'm at it you know I'm just going to use him we're going to give it two willow planks now, there's a mod in here called Statues. And it's got this hammer, which is made from two pieces of iron and two sticks. I don't have two sticks, but I do now. Uh, it's meant for just kind of displaying your character or even other people's characters. And you can't pick it back up afterwards. But I use it for armor stands. Now, you can enter in the name of a player, so there's me, and bam, complete with hair layer. Now, what you can do is, you can actually pose it, but I leave it in the normal pose, and I'm going to take the osmium gear, 
Uh, you can't shift click it in. It does weird things if you do. And I'm just going to leave it there. It's basically my armor stand now. So I'm going to put this on. And now we have City and Armor. As you can see, my little armor shards there are completely full. And we have to do something about a source of food soon. Hmm. Oh, actually, is there any berries in here? That's it. That's kind of disappointing. Now, if we go... Eh, we don't want to go up there. We'll venture over towards the tower in the corner first. I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. This is more of just to show off the effectiveness of this armor. Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, actually, this is a pretty good dead end. I like this. Hey. Yeah, but now. Not so scary now, are you? How's that obsidian armor working? You can also make an obsidian weapon, but I'm going to save the remaining bit of my uh, obsidian for things such as the atomic disassembler. Because I like it. So what do you got in here? Ooh, more slates. Uh, gears, which are good. Good. Uh, more gears. And a jukebox. And also a bed. This was far simpler to acquire than I expected. Ooh, gold. Okay. Speaking of beds, is there anywhere I feel like I can take three pieces of that from and not feel bad. Uh, I'll fill in this hole with uh, some bricks later. I want to show you a nifty thing of carpenter's blocks. Now, the Minecraft bed is cool and all, but it's just a bit rounded, if you know what I mean. So if we take three carpenter's blocks, three pieces of wool, we get ourselves a carpenter's bed. Let's see, is it nighttime? It is nighttime. So, what we can do with this is we can just place it down. And you can see it's got a lot more going on with it. However, it's the same as pretty much any other carpenter's block. You can take it and you can change the frame to other things, and now we have a willow bed frame. However, another major advantage this has. Uh, I don't really have anything easily accessible in terms of dyes except for lapis, I don't think. Uh, yeah, it looks like all I have is lapis at the moment. So what you can do is you can take a die and right-click on the bed, and you can dye the bed. Now, you can also, if we look at, at carpenters, you can get the carpenter's hammer, which is made from two more of those blocks. I think that was the right chest, anyhow. And I believe it said three pieces of iron. There we go. If you shift right click on the bed. No? Oh, sorry. Just uh, right click on the bed. You can change it between some designs it has, and most of them don't take into account your color choices other than that one. But you can do that for editing other things, such as these doors. And this specific door one, it doesn't look like much, but from the outside, it it's a good way to get a solid door. Screw off, Mana Creepers. Oops. So, I'm going to leave it as a nice large window. So I can see out there clearly, and I'm going to put this tool in here. And I don't know what's up with the statue's hammer. It has durability, but it doesn't, I guess. Oh, and you can paint these statues to actually get the colors, but if we look at, at statues, which is a showcase, uh, the palette takes lapis, cactus green, and rose red, and you just right-click on it, and it will add the color. You might have to shift right-click. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Oh. I suppose I can run blaze rods through you, can I? I'm reaching the end. I don't think I can run blaze rods through it. Alright, you can back convert diamonds in case you screw up. Cool. 
but new. Which is unfortunate, because that means that my best solution for blaze powder is this. But the uh, the armor has quite a bit of durability. Uh, it will break, though, despite blocking us from receiving damage entirely. And I think this is enough work for this one episode. Uh, I'm going to need to figure out a way to deal with the energy cube. Because I don't know if it's the energy cube's fault on how it's denying power, or there's some kind of an interaction with one of these that doesn't like the other. Now, I can put this back because it's not full. Transfer the power over. But I need to make sure that I never fill this up, and unfortunately, this only holds 800,000, and this will generate about twice that. So, I'm going to have to go with a different source of power. Or not a source of power, but a storage solution. Uh, I think my best option for that... Uh, how much electrical steel did I acquire? Four. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that at the moment. Uh, I want to make some of the Ender IO capacitor banks, but unfortunately making... Oh, no, 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 no. I can... If I get some... Yeah, I can use Certus Quartz dust to resolve this issue. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on alloys-only mode. Now, it's going to finish cooking what it's cooking. Oh, actually, we don't want it on alloys yet. We want to fry up the Certus Quartz dust first. Thankfully, Ender IO supports uh, using the silicon from Applied Energistics. Applied Energistics does not support the Ender IO silicon, though. Although you could technically convert back and forth with a dictionary converter. Uh, I want you on alloys only now. Thank you very much. We're gonna grab this silicon, and if you put iron, coal, and silicon in here, this will make electrical steel. Now we need a total of eight of it. Uh, we're also going to need a redstone block. Uh, we're also going to need... I believe there's a tin in here. Yes. We need four tin. Uh, we're going to need, I believe, 16 copper. This is going to be more than enough of this. As you can tell, we're going to make some basic capacitors. Uh, give me... No, not the clay. Redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did I run out of? Okay. Now, we need eight of the. Oh. Oh, that's actually far too many. Whoops. Missing a step. Missing a step. Well, I may have accidentally cooked up enough of that for. Two? Where's the... Oh. Okay, got a bit disorganized. So we're... Oh, that is not at all what I want. Crap. Yeah. Crap. I need coal dust. You can only be made in a pulverizer. You're charcoal dust. I don't believe I can use you. No. Coal powder. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do with the compressed carbon. I think you actually use that to make steel. Using uh, this mod. Uh, mechanism and I'm too lazy to stop it from what it's doing it doesn't actually have a listed use which doesn't make any sense to me I'm pretty sure you make it in here no? huh that's weird strange 
Yeah, screw it. We'll just throw it on the ground. Uh, that didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. Throw it on the ground. Now we got four. That's going to be enough for now. Oh. Oh, right. I'm only making enough electrical steel for one at the moment. Which has issues, but we're going to make a capacitor bank, which as you can see takes tin, double layer capacitors, redstone blocks, well, a redstone block, and we're going to put that bad boy right here, because this is... Where did my energy cube go? Did it just phase up through the ceiling? Oh no, it's over here. Okay. I am 99% sure that there is not an issue with interaction here, and this holds... 5 million RF. So if we were to take three pieces of redstone, it should pretty much entirely fill this up, and then we'll have power for a very, very long time. But what I can do now, as I, I said before, if I put this up here, it'll keep this powered with its power. So it, in this case, we're basically doubling its the amount of power it can hold. Because it can hold 400,000, and then this can hold 800, but it's only got 500 and somewhat. In, or no, it can hold 600? I think it was 600. And we're going to turn you to both. Throw that back in there. What are you doing? Doing good. Uh, I'll probably make another one of these off camera. And it's really cool. They're multi-blocks. Okay. So, mm, it'll take too long. I'm going to call this good for now. I'm going to make another one of these. If you sit another one next to it, they become a multi-block structure. So this will be listed as 10 million, and the max input goes up by 1,000 RF per each attached one. So it'll be able to hold 2,000, which is more than this cable can transfer. But we're only putting out 320, so no issue there. And this power source will keep me powered for a long time. So, I don't want to actually live in here, however, I'm currently here, I'm eventually going to move down into this sludge pit, uh, I'll probably explore more of it off camera and maybe clear out an area, but uh, next episode, I have a plan to deal with this unscrupulous place. It's going to take quite a bit of steel, which is the reason why I'm cooking this up. And it could potentially take a decent amount of power, which is why I'm running this. I'll probably fill this guy back up. Uh, here's another cool thing. These four slots, they're used for exactly what they look like. Filling things with power. So, we could fill this guy up. He apparently holds 800,000. We're going to use him for our mobile power source at the moment. Oh, okay. And I'll probably tell this guy to look for more manganese. Uh, I don't want the obsidian there, because it will eat my portal if I do that. And I don't need gold and diamond. Oh, cool. 61. That it's almost uh, two stacks of steel ore, or bars I'll be able to get out of that, which is good. Uh, I'm probably going to go find an oyster or something over there. Maybe not. I'll probably save that and worry about it later. What I can do... Eh, I condense these down. Condense down into... Six? The, uh... Dolly, there's an upgraded one that, as you can see, it says six out of six. I believe it can hold six, uh... Six chests at once. You know what? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's just test that before we stop here. It's not like diamonds are really an issue for me. Hmm. Why is... I probably just need to read up on it. Oh, look at that. I can condense it down and get my diamonds back. And my iron. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe it can only hold multiple... Barrels? Eh, I'll look into it. If anything, it's blue. And I cannot click on things with half the items in my hand. 
Oh, and right before we go, I, when I clear out the dispensers, check this out. This entire backpack is full of arrows, and this backpack is half full of arrows. I got a ton of arrows from those dispensers. Oh yeah, 1.3 million, and we still got... We just finally ticked over into our uh, second piece of redstone out of the three we had put in there afterwards. But uh, that said, I'm going to need to get some redstone. Did I accidentally click auto-eject? Yes, I did. I'm going to end up getting a ton of redstone dust. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get a Java barrel made and put it on the back of that and get some things ready for next episode. And then, uh, yeah, I have some fun planned for the next episode. But I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.